What is going on guys my name is Mehul and welcome to your 21st ExpressJS tutorial in which I'm gonna show you how to work with cookies. Now cookies are fun because they allow you to create sessions and basically keep a track of what users are doing on your website and cookies are basically just a raw string of information stored on the browser of the user and the browser always sends all the cookies back to the server on every request so you can kinda rely on them and obviously you don't need JavaScript enabled for the cookies to work so now for the cookies as well since this is a kind of module you'll need to install it and now we know about this package.json file so what we are gonna do is I'm just gonna say npm install cookie parser save hit enter let it wait let's wait for a while alright so as you can see we got it real quick go to your uh, package.json and you'll find it already there so here you go now for this to work what I need to do is I need to write some code let's just write require express then I want cookie parser to be included as well cookie parser then let's just run our app with express and then again we need to use cookie parser so I'm just gonna say app.use cookie parser now app dot get let's just make use of the get method for now for the home page function then again we have request response setup then I'm just gonna say that response dot cookie my first cookie looks good and you can have spaces obviously and the third argument would be kind of your options so if you are aware about that like when you go to Facebook and then you choose then you enter your login details then Facebook just gives you a little check mark of that keep me signed in there that is actually what um, you know makes the difference here so if you just select that keep me signed in then no matter how long after how long you run your browser you'll always sign in automatically Facebook unless you clear your history or cache so that is a permanent cookie so its maximum age is not set so for example you can have a time based session that means that your session would expire in two days or in two minutes as well so for example in banking you have I guess 10 minutes of wait to enter your one time password or something like that I guess I have in my account so might be you also have that so anyways you're gonna enter here a maximum age of in seconds here so this would be seconds right and you have a bunch of options here as well I don't remember actually so you can just google that for this documentation and you'll get that for example for instance for now I'm just gonna leave it to these two only alright so let's just hop into the terminal node script and why the heck am I always creating new files in here cut paste there you go script21.js alright so I guess stupid me I haven't even started the server app dot listen 1337 function console log yeah like that and then let's run it alright so it asks me yeah 
well dude I've got something some cookies for you you might like that and if I reload or basically let's just end it as well and wow so that at least we have something to display reload now we get a wow well that's wow much wow so if I just go to console and do document.cookie you can see that we got my first cookie as looks good and it's properly URL encoded by this module so you don't need to you know think a lot about this and that's how you basically create some cookies in the browser and to remove that cookie what you can do is you can just I can just create another thing right here remove cookie and you can just say here clear cookie here you go now once you do that and obviously you don't need the value for that so if I do like that and reload you see I have this cookie right now but once I go out remove cookie and reload this whoa document dot cookie you can see we get nothing because the cookie has been removed again if I go back we get nothing because I haven't reloaded the page yet and we get again that cookie so that's how you basically work with cookies in Express and you know if you just used the node without Express then this would get a lot of mess messy kind of because I don't think that in node we actually have an official method to work with cookies so that's the plus point for Express and that's why we use Express so that's all for this one and I'll see you then in the next one real soon so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching